lost two All-American guards in Sean Farrell and Mike Munchak, along with center Jim Romano. As an end result, they've gone to throwing the football. And it seems to be working very well, even though Joe Paterno is not very, very, I guess at this particular time, comfortable with it. Look at the statistics. Todd Blackledge, in three games, has tossed 12 touchdown passes. That's only three off the seasonal record for Penn State. Now, last year against Nebraska, he had only four of 13. This is the first big test of the year coming up right here on CBS. A record crowd expected today at Beaver Stadium as these two clubs continue their success, they hope. Nebraska's won their first two, Penn State unbeaten, a 5-0 combined record, and last week Nebraska was just simply awesome. Look at the figures. They are averaging 510 yards rushing a game, 55 points a game, and here come the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Nebraska losing last year, 30 to 24 in Lincoln to Penn State. And here come now the Penn State Nittany Lions. Well, I'm Gary Bender and we're just glad you can be with us. This is going to be some football game here on CBS. Nebraska, as I mentioned, they lost last year in Lincoln, 30-24, to 24, and they have circled this date. They've been waiting for this rematch for a long time. They feel that this is the best team that Tom Osborne has had in 10 years. The last time they won a national championship was 1971, and that was under Bob Devaney. This really, in all intents and purposes, is the first chance for these two clubs to establish they are legitimate contenders for the national championship. Five and four. And, of course, last week it was Penn State leading in that ball game and winning it 30 to 24. Alongside me, our expert analyst is Pat Hayden. And, Pat, we talked about Todd Blackledge at the top of the show, but Nebraska remembers what Kurt Warner did last year. Well, he's had a frustrating start this year, Gary. And if Penn State can't run that power football that we're so used to seeing, expect to see Kurt Warner in different positions, in different formations, in motion, catching screen passes. Any attempt to get him out there in that open field would get one-on-one -on -one and a defender. You said power football. Nebraska can do that because of that offensive line. Well, great offensive football teams control the line of scrimmage. Nebraska has done that in its first two games. And that offensive line charge is led by center Dave Remington, an All-American last year, who some people suggest might be the most dominating offensive lineman since John Hanna. Nebraska has said that Turner Gill may be the best quarterback that they have had in the history of their school. Well, Nebraska has never had a quarterback with as much athletic ability. Some have passed the ball better, some have run the ball better, but Turner Gill can do both with consistency and grace. Turner Gill did not play in this game last year as he was out with an injury. We'll be back two degrees in relative humidity, 70% as this record crowd. They have been charged up all day long. Bill Parkinson of the Independents will be the referee. It's a mixed crew between the Big Eight and the Independents. As kicking off is going to be Kevin Seibel. Seibel from Vermilion, South Dakota, senior and back deepest Tony Mumford, along with Kevin Bow. Oh! The 10th meeting between these two clubs. It's a very, very short kick. And Bow lets it go by him. Back is Tony Mumford, and he's going to be dropped at the seven-yard line. That was not an artistic success, but a very, very effective kick that time by Nebraska. And Williams has been moved to fullback this year from the running back spot. Garrity, an excellent wide receiver. Up front, Spiros was a starter at tackle a year ago. And Kahn's started at left tackle all last season. Herman is out of there. He hurt a knee this week. As an end result, Rob Stuckey will replace him at the right tackle spot. All Big 8, Tony Felici at the right end. Dan Kroger, along with McWhorter. They have depth as well as ability there, and there is a new secondary. Four regulars graduated from last season. Garrity split out. Kenny Jackson also flanked to the bottom of the screen. Blackledge, he crosses him up, but that does not fool Nebraska. John Williams. Williams is hit by Jeff Merrill, number 74, and as he fired up from Huntsville, Alabama. He is going to be Ralph Giacomero. Back deep, Fryer along with Jeff Smith. It's a short kick, and Fryer makes the fair catch, and with good field position is Nebraska. They set it up at the 46 of Penn State, a 36-yard kick that time. Offensively, 
Well, Turner Gill, he makes things happen. Craig Rozier, what a one-two punch. Craig last year was also an eye back. They moved him to fullback, as Penn State did with John Williams. And up front, Remington. Tice, a veteran, a starter. And Delco, also a starter from a year ago. And watch Jamie Williams, the tight end. First down now from the 46, Nebraska. Turner Gill out to Rozier, and Rozier passes inside the 45 to the 43. Gain of two, maybe three. The ball has been fumbled, I believe. Nope. They have blown it dead. Penn State thought they had the football, but they're going to come back. And it's blown dead. Ken Kelly, Gattuso, Ofer starting this game. Actually, outstanding defensive end for Penn State. This has been a linebacker school for so long. Radisic on the left side and back deep. Watch the play of Roger Jackson and Mike Robinson to safety. Second down over the middle. Running the ball to the 35-yard line. Nebraska make it the 36-yard line. Straight up the middle goes Roger Craig, and that's going to bring up third down a yard to go. Now for the Cornhuskers. Turner Gill off to Craig, and I don't know, it's going to be very close. Roger Craig out of Davenport, Iowa. Last year he gained 1,069 yards, but he needed a big yard there, and I don't know. Let's see. They may have to measure. Run the option series, and they also can pass effectively with Turner Gill. They really have three separate offenses, and it makes them very, very difficult to defend. Here is that measurement, and they have the first down by what? Maybe the half the length of football? Wait a minute. No, they're indicating. There it is. I thought for a moment he was saying it was short. I thought my eyes had failed me. And it's going to no score just underway. Quick pitch, Craig. Craig powers to the 30-yard line. Interesting that they have Craig now at the eye back, have Rozier out of there, and Wilkin he play. Gattuso making the stop that time for Penn State. Since they have left on this third down. Williams moves over to the near side as the tight end, the all-big eight performer. Here's Gill on the option. And Gill is not going to get the first down. The Nittany Lions, led by Ken Kelly, diagnosed that well. Kelly, who's been playing both a defensive end and a linebacker spot, made a fine play. This is the option series to talk about Turner Gill. Watch how slowly it develops. He's reading that in, and watch Walker Lee Ashley put some pressure on him. Mark Robinson come up from the free safety position, Gary, to make the tackle. He mishandles the ball. Gill, he's trying to add lib, and I don't think he got the first down. He did not. So at a very critical time, a mishandled exchange from Remington to Turner Gill, and Penn State takes over. Now Penn State has good field position. Remember the first time they had the ball at the 7. Now at the 27, and Blackleach is going to take advantage of the field position. Beautiful protection. Complete to McCloskey, the tight end. Mike McCloskey out of Philadelphia at the 37-yard line. Only set back is Williams in the wing position. Kurt Warner. John Williams. 40, 45. He is struggling and has a first down to the 49-yard line, a 12-yard pickup. Brett Clark, sophomore from Nebraska City, Nebraska. And these Penn State fans, they're used to seeing that kind of running football. That's back to the 16 years of Joe Paterno. And now they may establish a running game. The difference, how much more they are throwing the football coming into this game. And Blackledge, play action fake. Good protection again. Lots of time and going to run. And he's down to the 45 of Nebraska. Ready a 5 beta Kappa. And reverse to Warner. And Warner is going nowhere. That time, Nebraska reacted extremely well. Blackledge rolling near side, Kurt Warner. Warner is enough for the first down, inside the 40 to 38. Kurt Warner was in motion here, a little sprint out by Todd Blackledge. They're going to get him ball on a screen pass. Now from here, he's on his hole. Great balance. He avoids a tackle there. Looking to put his hand to the ground, and just enough to get the first down. Great field presence. Receivers to the top, Jackson, bottom is Garrity. Blackledge on the play action on second down. Again, all kinds of time. He hits Garrity. Garrity inside the 25 to the 21. First down. 13-yard pickup. 
Dave Rupp. They are really showing diversification. Play action fake. You see people bite there on Kurt Warner. A crossing route, which is a great call versus a zone. Garrity beats the zone for another catch and a first down. He has a remarkable strings of catches and first downs. Motion to the bottom. Blackledge, three of three. Flag on the play. Blackledge over the middle. Jackson, that's a touchdown. But let's see what the penalty flag's about. They're going to bring it back. Illegal motion against Penn State. Touchdown of the year for Blackledge. Let's listen. Illegal motion on the offense. First down. And so they'll have to retool now. Into the wing spot. Kurt Warner, the running back. Garrity, Jackson split out. First and 15. Got to set up the screen. Warner can't get it. He was hung up that time by the onrushing defensive line. Two receivers at the bottom this time. Garrity and Jackson, and we may have an offside. Back to throw is Blackledge. This is Garrity. He's got another one inside the 10. He's going to break it in, but I believe Penn State's offside, and that's going to be twice. They've had touchdowns called back. Maybe third and 18, 19 yards, Gary, but if he can just get 10 of those back. Illegal motion in, on the offense. Third down. He's in great field goal position. It, the key here for Blackledge not to get caught for a sack. Starting one way, coming back. Blackledge back on third and 20. William put pressure on. McCluskey, he's out of bounds. McCluskey had the ball at the 10, but they'll bring it back. It's fourth down. It's distance, and thus far he's five of six for the year. Manka has enough leg on it, and it is no good. It is wide of the mark. And so a mistake-riddled Penn State team loses an excellent opportunity to get on the scoreboard. Team here, no score. Nebraska has a football. Turner Gill, and here comes that power football once again. Roger Craig up the middle. Craig across the 35 to the 37-yard line. Maybe this crowd noise is affecting him. Third down now. Five yards to go. Todd Brown split to the bottom. Turner Gill rolling. He's going to keep it. And he's going to advance to the 41, and that looks like a yard short of the first down. That's Scott Radisek out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the linebacker over. They may measure. This is official, a record crowd. 85,304, and I might add a noisy crowd. I'm 28-yard line. This is Kurt Warner. They have Coles in at fullback leading the way. Todd Blackledge is just playing superb football for this team. And out of North Canton, Ohio. Nebraska jumping around on this third and five. In motion goes Kurt Warner. Blackledge protection breaking down. He's hit as he delivers. Garrity's got it. What a catch. Greg Garrity at the 35-yard line. Neil Harris was on him tight, but he still made the grab. A 13-yard pickup. And this time, split to the bottom of the screen. And comes Garrity. Jackson to the dot. John Williams is checked back in. This is Williams with the football. Williams to the 40. He'll take it to the 47-yard line. Good second effort on his part. Steve Dan Kroger making the stop for the Huskers. Dan Kroger, an all-big eight second-team selection last year. Fullback. Jackson's put out. Garrity's put out. Blackledge, second down. Two. He eludes. Ritter deep to Warner. Warner's got it. 14-yard line. Down against a defensive back. And watch him adjust on this ball. The ball is a little bit underthrown. He jumps up, squares his shoulders to catch the ball, makes a great catch over Van Norm. Uh, Van Norman, a very versatile athlete. If, he does, if he's not hurting you with the run, he's going to catch up a catch a big pass for you, Gary. No score from Beaver Stadium. Blackledge play action. Setting it up nicely. Over the middle. Let's watch Gary check that. Kurt Coleman. This is a terrific call. It looks like power football. They've got three backs in. They go in motion. They fake to Kurt Warner. Everything looks like run. Kirk Bowman just slips behind the defensive backs. He's wide open for the touchdown. Pretty good hands for an offensive tackle. Boy, I guess so. They took all that wrapping off his hands. He can catch the ball. <laughs> Again, Kurt Warner's been so much of their offense. Watch. The linebackers freeze on Kurt Warner there. It gives, again, great protection by Black for Blackledge over the top to Bowman and six points. Nebraska has never been scored on this year in the first quarter. Having him all day long to throw the ball. Nebraska's going to have to change his defensive scheme a little bit, Gary, and put some more pressure on Blackledge. 30 Eastern right here on CBS. From the 20-yard line, 
First down for the Cornhuskers. Two tight ends, Crank and Williams in. Gill pitches to Rogier, and Rogier goes for five. For seven, a wide receiver spot. Gill to Rogier, and look at the strength of this guy. Rogier from Camden, New Jersey, was hit, but he wouldn't go down initially. Greg Gattuso had a ride with him, and it's going to bring up third down and two. And Turner Gill may have to throw now. He now is coming at fullback. Let's see if they'll throw. Turner Gill wants to throw. Man wide open. First down, Fryer. And Fryer across the 45. He fumbled the ball. He fumbled the ball. And I believe Penn State has it. They do. Fryer trying to get additional yardage. Had it stripped. Mark through the eyes of a Nebraska Cornhusker. His helmet, it's got to be a concerned look right now as we start the second quarter. Penn State has the ball at the 45 of Nebraska. Skeeter Nichols now in at a running back spot along with Joel Coles. Blackledge back to throw. Over the middle, Garrity just behind him. He may have had his vision impaired that time by one of the defenders who reached up. Dan Kroger dropping off from the linebacking spot. One back to kick for Penn State on fourth down. He hit it nose high. They're going to let it hit. That ball is going to go out of bounds at the five, maybe the six-yard line. A 39-yard kick, very strategically placed by Giacomero from Upper Settle, Brook, New Jersey. Nebraska needs a first down. They are backed up. They trail 7-0. Gill rolling again, open, and out of bounds goes Fryer, and that will be enough for the first down, and that was very well executed that time. Tough throw for a right-hander to roll left and throw. Just a simple pass by Irving Fryer pattern. He runs down a simple out pattern. The ball was thrown on time, clearly for the first down. This is what they need just to get their offenses going. And this time he steps out of bounds rather than fight for the extra yardage. Where he Second down, now 10, after the penalty of five yards. Ricky Simmons in, split to the bottom of the screen. Gill's going to roll that way. He's waiting for Simmons to make his cut. He delivers it. First down. Good patience that time by Gill. He waited for Simmons. Simmons was there, and Nebraska has a first down. This is the same route that Irving Fryer run earlier. It's just a simple out pattern, and there, there's way too much cushion. You don't even see a defensive back. The ball is delivered on time. You cannot stop this pass unless you're willing to come up and support a little faster. Biondi's going to have to play a little tighter. Against New Mexico State, a 16-yard pickup. Gill now 3 of 4. First down, Gill on the option. Big hole, and Gill advances almost to the first down. The ball is loose again. And who's got this one? No determination yet. I think the Cornhuskers have recovered the football. Walker Lee Ashley, number 37, he's a defensive end. Now, he is a big man, 225 pounds. Watch him chase Turner Gill all the way across the field. He is their co-captain, the senior, the leader on defense, and you see why. He with the ball at the 45, second and a short yard. Gill going to take advantage of it, and he hits the man over the middle. That's Todd Brown, and Brown has a first down, and Gill is now throwing the ball effectively. At this pass is completed because of the great play-action fake and great protection. Look, Turner Gill has all day to throw the ball. Todd Brown comes in, jumps, makes the catch. Turner Gill, I tell you, this team's not known for throwing, but Gill is throwing the ball effectively right now. He's 4 of 5, 67 yards. Running in Ann Arbor, what a win that is for Terry Donahue and the UCLA Bruins. Rozier on a second down and 7, and he'll advance to the 21-yard line. Trail 7 to nothing. big play. Williams and Crank, two tight ends in. It looked like Nebraska by the move. They did not kill. He mishandles the ball. Penn State has it. Blackledge, time to throw, open Garrity, Garrity struggles to the midfield strike. Greg Garrity, he's not very big, he's 5'10 and a half, 170, all of his receivers. First down at the 49, Kurt Warner, Warner cuts it to the 45, he's to the 40, Warner to the 35 yard line. Here's the Kurt Warner we were so familiar with last year. You see a little pitch. He just lets the traffic go by. Little jitterbug there. He's down into the secondary. This has got to be a big lift for Kurt Warner. He has not had big rushing games the first three games for Penn State. He has 28 carries on 28 yards, I should say, on hands. Backleach back. Kenny Jackson broken up. Fine coverage at time by Allen Lydey. Little handoff to Warner. There he goes. He gave him a leg. He took it away. 25, 20, 15 to the 10. 
Dodd, five, he's out of bounds at the four-yard line. Chris Van Norman, touchdown saving tackle. Kurt Warner, did he give a leg to him and take it away on this run? Kurt Warner can hurt you catching the ball, and he can hurt you running the ball. A simple little draw. He dances around, breaks the tackle. You can't see the block by John Williams. There you see John Williams make a block, clearing the way for Kurt Warner to get down the sideline in a big game. Now Williams, unselfish football player, moving to fullback. Warner. This is Williams in motion. Blackledge gives to Warner. Warner is going to make it to the two. It'll be second and goal there. Motion goes Williams. Heard Warner again. Warner's got the corner. Touchdown. Team to nothing. Penn State leading Nebraska. And the Cornhuskers are going to have to regroup. Todd Blackley, Kurt Warner, what a one-two effective punch they have been. This is a great call on a touchdown here by Penn State. It's the same formation that they threw up down by the goal line earlier in the first quarter. This time they give it to Kurt Warner. John Williams makes a great block for him, but Warner turns the corner into the end zone. On that drive, Warner carried the ball four times for 50 yards. Seven welcoming him in the backfield. Here is Rozier. Got a block, but not enough. Out to the 26. Some real hitting going on now. Johnson, a senior from Harvard, Nebraska, now snaps the ball to Turner Gill. Third and seven. He dumps it to Rozier. Incomplete fourth down. The 45. Todd Blackledge to John Williams. Has the corner. To the 50. He fumbles the ball, it went out of bounds, and they got a first down because he fumbled it forward past the front end of that chain, and everything's going well now for Penn State. When it rains, it's first half of play. Blackleach play action on first down, protection there again, broken up nicely. Reaching up was Mike Knox. Knox is just sophomore from Castle Rock. He was the only freshman to letter last year for Nebraska, third and seven. to throw again, John Williams, Williams inside the 40 and somehow stays inbounds across the 35, Mike McCluskey, the tight end, threw a fine block on that play. Here you're going to see John Williams make a nice catch and pick up a block by Mike McCluskey. These Penn State backs know where their blockers are, you can see him setting McCluskey up. McCluskey comes in the picture, Williams waits for him, steps into him for a few more yards. That's a third down. Seven yards to go. There's a ground level shot from the end zone. And that's what Blackledge is looking at, that secondary. Third down, protection excellent. And broken up. That looked like Toby Williams, 97, who reached in. Rob Stuckey was also back there, playing a place of the injured Doug Herman. There's with seven. Strang to hold. Anka didn't get it up that high, and it's no good. Nebraska still very much alive in this football game. Turner Gill wants to throw again. They pick up the man blitzing up the middle. Fryer, the intended receiver, he couldn't clear. It was all congested in the interior, and as an end result, it's fourth down. There's Stein Cooler, offensive guard for Nebraska. Brown, Nebraska right now trailing 14-0. Second down, seven. Open, Garrity. Greg Garrity, he had to stretch all of that five foot, ten and a half inch frame to make the catch, a 21 yard gain. He's shaken up on the play. In their own words, what a class gentleman he is, the coach at Grambling. Second and ten. Open, McCluskey, wide open. McCluskey inside the 25 to the 21. The obvious question is, Pat, how can he be that wide open? A 25-yard pickup on the play. Warner in the backfield. This Penn State offensive attack has been impressive. Kurt Warner. Warner has the 20-yard line to the 17. It'll bring up second down. Seventh play in this possession, starting from the 31-yard line. From third down and four, Warner broken up, almost intercepted. Good injury didn't detain him that long from coming into the game. Great job by Felici. He was not fooled. They were trying to get Kurt Warner isolated on Felici down the sideline, but Felici falls back in coverage. He makes a pretty good play here. 
You can see him come up. He almost had the interception. He had hurt that arm a little earlier. That might have prevented him from intercepting it. The 33-yarder by Manka. This kick is a knuckleball, and he's missed three. The freshman from Reno, Nevada. Shaken up on that play was Lighty, who came in trying to block the field goal attempt. Lighty is still very much in this ball game. Rozier, Wokening in the backfield, 1.45 to go until halftime. Turner Gill back. Todd Brown, and Brown has a first down catch out to the 40. Plays. And that was that fumble. What a big turnover that was in this game. First down from the 40. Gill to Ricky Simmons. First down catch. He took a pretty good shot, but he held on. Simmons, who was a high school teammate of the backup quarterback of Nebraska, Basket Nate Mason. There's the time. Remington back in its center. Turner Gill throws to Brown. Did he juggle it? He did. He did not have to. This time, look at this. You know, he's got some juice on that ball. Now, Todd Brown's either concerned about keeping his feet in bounds or that ball just got a little too much steam on it. Either or, it's an incomplete pass. Well, that was close, though. You see? Now, it's important for them on a third and ten to get a first down here, keep something going in the line. At least get a crack at a field goal, maybe. From the 48 and a half of Penn State, third down, ten. Gill over the middle, Friars got it inside the 30 to the 29, and that now gives them at least a shot at a field goal. Mark Robinson. 46 seconds left in this first half. Turner Gill back, look out. He's under pressure, got it off to Fryer. Fryer breaks it, he's going to take it in, touchdown. What a courageous throw by Turner Gill. He was plastered. Finesse and throwing the ball. Watch the courage of Turner Gill. He knows he's going to get hit. He unloads the ball. He really gets kissed there. Finds a way to get the ball to Irving Fryer. Now watch Fryer give us a little effort. Runs over two Penn State defenders into the end zone. Two outstanding individual efforts by the Nebraska Cornhuskers. I think you're right. Fryer just wasn't going to give up. I think I was going to clear it out. You see him go up the sideline, and then Irving Fryer ships right underneath him. <laughs> he tripped over Fryer, didn't he? But see, there's there's some shoddy tackling there. Perhaps they should have tackled him there on the 15-yard line. Let's give credit to Fryer. Penn State, Nebraska, seven points separating them as we wind down to halftime. It's been a remarkable day in football. We'll be updating some of the scores and highlights at halftime. We gave you some of the upsets. What a year this is, as we have a lot of those fifth-year seniors that are having some big years. And so the first half has come to a close. So our score at halftime, 14-7. Penn State, who led 14 to nothing at one stage, letting Nebraska off the hook. And Nebraska moving 80 yards in the air to score. And let's take a look now at the scoring. Bowman, the tight end, 14-yard touchdown pass. Kurt Warner, his first rushing touchdown of the year from two yards out. And that 30-yard pass completion from Turner Gill to Irving Fryer. Gary, this was the comeback of the day. UCLA with the ball. Their quarterback, Tom Ramsey, and the Bruins were down 21 to nothing against Michigan. This touchdown pass will put UCLA ahead 24-21. They go on to win it 31-27. Era and I will have all the details at halftime. Back to you and Pat. This first half, Pat, I'm surprised how even the statistics are. Early, it was Penn State, but you see total yardage, not that much difference. Well, the statistics don't reflect, Gary, is the times that Penn State has missed the three field goals. They had a touchdown pass called back. Penn State really could have put this game away in the f first half. They did not do so. Gill, who had a very fine first half. Rozier and Craig were shut down. They had a tough time running the ball. Fryer, that remarkable 30-yard touchdown catch. Williams, he had one catch that he couldn't hang on to. They play. Kelly, Gattuso, Ofer, who has been battling for that starting job with Hines, actually put some pressure on in that first half. Radisek, Harris, they may have to play a lot of pass defense the way Gill's throwing. Biondi, we just mentioned. Robinson, at one tackle, he couldn't hang on. The Friar scored on. Williams and Crink, two tight ends on third down and nine. Gill pumping, he's going to try to keep it now, and 
and he gets it off in the last moment to Roger. Roger breaks out across the 35. He's to the 40. 18 yard gain. A spectacular play here by Turner Gill. He's looking to pass first. Now he's coming down to run the option. He steps inside. He's about to get tackled. He finds a way to get the ball to Rozier, who makes a play. That looks like Sandlot football. Looks really like was really was remarkable. See Rozier right there. Now for Nebraska. Operating from the 37-yard line, Gill back to throw, time is there, going to the far side, Simmons, he was out of bounds. With confidence. The ability to adjust, Simmons had caught an out pattern just a few moments earlier, this time he runs an out and up, but beyond he's there to respond, the ball's right over his head, he just can't come down inbounds, one foot on the chalk line. Rushing plays, passing plays, middle account changed in the second quarter, and that's something? Gill, an end around, reverse, Fryer, Fryer to the 45, 50, open field, 40, he may go, 20, he's dropped at the 19-yard line, Biondi was the man that stopped him. He came from the far side of the field. He did just, like we said, he went into halftime, the power of football was going nowhere, so now they're going to finesse him. Here's Irving Fryer on a reverse, he finds his wall, gets a nice downfield block there by Todd Brown, cuts in and makes a big play, a saving tackle by Dan Biondi, number 39. down 10 Gill with time now he's in trouble gets it off to Rogier and he has dropped the ball let's see I think it's incomplete it will be what happened was Walker Lee Ashley came through and Gill couldn't see anybody he was stormed under and that precipitated all the difficulty field all afternoon you're gonna see him here again he's is to Gill's back now you can see Ashley fight off a block he comes in, he puts some pressure on him, he's in his face. Gill does a nice job of getting rid of the ball. This will be a 35-yard field goal attempt. Remember, this is the first attempt of the year for Nebraska. Kevin Simon, Turner Gill, the whole bad snap, he's in trouble. Gill, he's not going to get the first down. Boy, the field goal kicking teams have really had a difficult time. From the 17, Coles, Warner in the backfield. This is Warner, Warner, out to the 25. Oh, what a run. He just glides. And to the 25, he's two yards short of the first down. He has, there is Warner and his company in that backfield. Blackledge, Williams, Garrity, Jackson. Jackson hasn't really been on the receiving end that much. McCluskey made a big catch earlier. And up front, they are protecting Blackledge so very effectively. And Warner has been shaken up on the play. Good news. Second down, two yards to go for Penn State. 12-15 to go, third quarter. The Nittany Lions with a 14-7 lead. Almost missed that handoff. Penn State got the first down. Jeff Merrill in on the tackle. And it Nichols now into the backfield. Blackledge back. Protection breaking down. Hits Cole. Flag on the play. Cole to the 36-yard line. Blackledge took a pretty good shot that time. As up the middle came some pressure. But then the penalty flag thrown at the 40-yard line. One of the tri-captains may be going against Nebraska, holding against the Huskers. And it's beautiful the way the lighting has worked here. First down, off to John Williams. Williams to the 45, and this hard-nosed player is into the Nebraska end of the field at the 48. Brett Blackledge off to Coles. Coles to the 40, and very close to the first down at the 39. Well, here's a look at Kenny Jackson, their fine flanker blocking. Now, receivers have to do more to be able to catch the ball. He gets right down on Lyde's feet there and makes a key block. The Penn State defenders, Penn State offensive receivers, I should say, Gary. Time, the measurement had to be taken. Blackledge back to throw. McCluskey, the big tight end, big move, 25. McCluskey to the 20. And Lyde is shaken up again. Looks like he may have a cramp. Mike McCluskey, they're tight end. You're going to see Blackledge come down. He's going to hit McCluskey. Watch McCluskey after he catches the ball. Gives him a little bit of shake. Pulls up. Let's the defender slip by. and Goes downfield for another 10, 15 yards. He shared that tight end spot last year with Vito Cab, who made five field goals in that win. Warner in the backfield now has returned. Back to throw. Blackledge on second down and eight over the middle. And it is caught for the touchdown. Kenny Jackson. 
21-7. That is very impressive football by the Nittany Lions. Archie moving that football 83 yards. Seven big play. Big play football. Here's Kenny Jackson, a very exciting receiver. It's a crossing route. You can't see Garrett. He's going to come underneath here. But Jackson gets cuts it down right at the goal line. Blacklist drills this ball in front of the defender. And watch Kenny Jackson defend the ball by turning his shoulders in two yards deep in the end zone for the touchdown. Dave Burke, a sophomore from Layton, Utah, almost got a hand on it as you look at Kenny Jackson. That's his brother, Roger Jackson, who plays in the defensive secondary. But that was so close to being broken up. But concentration, look at it again. Good offensive strategy by Penn State because Dave Burke is their second team defensive back. Remember, Alan Light, he went out with muscle cramps before. They went right to work on number 33, Dave Burke. Although we had the running backs from the 20, Nebraska now has to get things going. Turner Gill gives to Rogier, big hole, 25, 30, and he is close to the first down. The block up front that time by Steinkuller and Quapping. 52 yards now for Rogier on nine. First down across the 30. Rogier again, ad living this time. His ad lib gets him almost five yards. He had nothing doing on that play. Somehow reverted outside. Put out his fire. He's back into the ball game. Gill rolling to his side. He's going to run it. He's going to pick up a first down easily. He's to the 50-yard line. That's where they respected the pass. As a Turner Gill on the option. Keeps it. 40, 35, cuts to the 30, and that's the athletic ability of Turner Gill. Ability to run really came through. Turner Gill's going to run this option. He's going to look Walker Lee Ashley right in the eye. And he wins that duel, runs right by him. Ashley was concerned about the pitch. Gill did the right thing, kept the ball downfield for a first down. It's been a very clean game. We've had only five penalties. Back to throw, Turner Gill. And he hits Fryer. He stayed in bounds inside the 25, and that gets some of the yardage back. They're still going to be seven yards short of the first down. Gill to Rogier. Rogier's got it. That's power football to the 15-yard line. Rogier, who weighs in at about 210. He's 5'11. Transfer out of Coffeyville Junior College in Kansas. First game, he had 127 yards, and last week, 149 against New Mexico State. He has 41 this quarter, 67 for the game. First down, just short of the 15-yard line. Nebraska battling back after Penn State Simmons put to the bottom. 5.42 to go, third quarter. Werner Gill rolling. He throws to Wilkening, Wilkening to the five. He looks like he may have a first and goal. He's awfully close. Field, Rogier, third and one, Rogier, and he got it. First and goal. I don't know if you could stop Nebraska in that situation. There's a lot of beef up front. They control the line of scrimmage. Ashley made the stop. Fire in the wing position. He'll go in motion. Turner Gill on the option, cuts it up, and he's going to make it to the two, maybe inside the two. Edge. Grass has got to get on the scoreboard. That's the big statistic. Third and goal at the two. Turner Gill throwing, touchdown, Rozier. So again, Nebraska battles back. Turner Gill got hit that time as he released the football, but he still got the ball there for that 80-yard drive. Turner Gill does not see Walker Lee Ashley breathing down his throat. Just dumps the ball off there. You see Rozier wide open. They had a blitz on it. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Rozier beats Radishek. And as an end result, seven points separating these two excellent football teams. Still, but Blackledge each time out seemingly has been able to do what he's wanted to do. And last try, they marched down in a hurry. Merrill in at that nose tackle. Stuckey. Alongside him, Toby Williams up front Go. to Joel Cole. And Cole out to the 28-yard line on second down. He gets up to Skeeter Nichols. Nichols, 30, 35, first down, 40, 45, all the way to the 50-yard line. That Just the shuffling that Joe Paterno does so well. 22-yard run to the 50. Back to throw, Blackledge, Battaglia blocking for him. Complete to Kenny Jackson. Jackson to the 40. Boy, is he quick. 
They are a wide open football team. Here is Blackley sneaking it forward. Now there is a man that would be tough to stop, I would think, in those circumstances. Back and down 10. Pressure put on. And John Williams had it. They're going to rule it a completion, I believe. And Nebraska's return has come up with a football. I don't know if he had this one. There, he put the hit on him. Let's see. So you're going to see Todd Blackledge. It's tough to tell from this angle here, but if that ball is thrown behind him, it's a live ball. It's called a backward pass, otherwise known as a lateral. That's why the bias ball is still live. That replay indicated he had a first drive. Anyway, Nebraska, big turnover at the 50-yard line. Give and a new man of the ball game, Jeff Smith. 114, Penn State with the lead. Second down, 10 for Nebraska from the 50. Turner Gill intercepted. A beautiful play, Al Harris. Al Harris, the defensive end, reached up, pulled it down. We wanted to show you this play a while ago. Oh, wait a minute. Let's look at the interception first. You now, see great athletic ability there by Al Harris. He's just trying to tip that ball. Somehow the ball gets stuck in his hands for the interception, Gary. Now the controversy we had, we're going to go back and show you that play. It doesn't really... Marker is your frame of reference. He throws the ball there on the five-yard line stripe to John Williams, who catches the ball in front of that stripe. But that shows you that it is not a lateral, and he does not have possession that should not have been a fumble. But anyway, they get it back. Skeeter Nichols has a fumble, and Nebraska, I think, has it. They do at the 45-yard line. Three turnovers and four plays. The playing giveaway. Simmons, he is split out along with Fryer. Rolling out is Turner Gill. It's broken up, and it's caught. It's caught on the deflection by Fryer, and that'll be a first down. On grabbing the toe is an indication. Let's look at this one. A, a good little good luck never hurts anybody. You see Scott Radisek get a hand on the ball, alert play, but Irving Fryer's there to make the catch. We've had something develop on this last play as Fryer's coming out. The lights have gone out on this near side of the field. Yes. First down from the 38-yard line, up the middle. This is Wilkening to the 30, to the 25. He fumbled the ball, it's loose. And Nebraska has it. A tough time hanging on. You're going to see Doug Wilkening right over Dave Remington. He breaks into the clear. Now, you're going to see his fumble coming up. Now, you must remember, you have to have possession of the football to gain control. Here you see a lot of Penn State players diving after the ball. Nobody had a control before the ball went out of bounds. Very good. Look at the yardage in this ball game in the third quarter. And total yardage, 735 yards of total offense. Belly backs behind Turner Gill. Turner Gill rolling up. Broken up. And it's fourth down. It looks like Mitch Klink was the intended receiver. The number 70, Gattuso, had a hand up on the ball. And seven, it'll be a 37-yard attempt. There is Seibel. Seibel's kick, and it is up. It's good. And Seibel kicking his first field goal of this season. And it's 21-17. A good hold there by Turner McGill because that snap again was low on the ground. Turner McGill had the hands and the poise to pick it up, place it on the tee for Seibel to kick the field goal. 12-56 left in this fourth quarter. This game has been up to what we expected. Off it goes to Williams. 25-27 yard line. John Williams to the 27. It'll bring up second down and almost five yards to go. Favor of Penn State. Fourth consecutive year they've met. Back to throw, Blackledge. Complete to Williams. And Williams is drowned in a hurry by Dave Burke. Up Williams into the wing position. Sin, Williams in motion. Blackledge, pitch to Mumford. First down. Tony Mumford. Sophomore from Lindenwood, New Jersey. First down in this game for Penn State. Nebraska has 17. Here is John Williams. Williams to the 40, 45, another first down, he's all the way to the 50. Williams is not that big, but he was running with people on top of him. Excellent offense. Todd Blackley, John second and 11. Pressure put on, he gets away from Dan Kroger. Broke it up, nice play by Dave Burke. Burke over the back of Kenny Jackson. Blackledge, by the way, has not been sacked today. He is so strong back there. Third down, 11. Jackson, he's got it. 
Kenny Jackson. So close to being broken up, but he made the grab. Chris Van Norman defending. That's the ball. He's thrown the ball with touch. Here he just drills it to Kenny Jackson, runs a super curl. Dave Burke covers Kenny Jackson about as well as you can, but when you have that kind of execution between the thrower and the receiver, there's not much you can do. One touchdown. He split out. Joel Cole, Skeeter Nichols. The running backs. Blackledge over the middle. Complete to Garrity. Garrity dropped by Neil Harris. That's maybe just short of the first down. Third and one. This time, they're not going to get it, I don't believe. Mike Knox filled so effectively on that play. It's Mumford. Now they move around. Let's see if they pitch to Williams to this side or move to this side. It's Mumford again. Same play. I think he has it. I believe he has the first down. They got it. Oh, but was it close. They say it's a game of inches. Garrity split out. Blackledge on first down, wanting to throw over the middle. Garrity intercepted. Picking it off was Neil Harris and Pat. I don't think he saw the football. He turned around and it was buried in his midsection because Garrity did not indicate the ball was on its way. That was some play. A sophomore from Kansas City, Missouri, Neil Harris. You're absolutely right. Neil Harris did not see the ball. You see Garrity pushing down the field. Now he's got to beat it. The ball's thrown over Harris's head. The ball is underthrown. Harris turns around and makes the interception. So Harris stops what could have been a very damaging touchdown for the man who led the charge. Let's look back at that interception by Neil Harris. Big play here. Nebraska defensive backs have been under duress all afternoon. Blackledge has been picking them apart. He underthrows this ball a little bit. Neil Harris has pretty good coverage, turns around for the interception, and they go the other way. 829 yards in total offense in this game. 21-17, second down, nine. Turner Gill on the option, tripped up. Good play that time. Coming over quickly, again, was Radisek. Gill wanting to throw open Todd Brown he's got it that's a first down and Nebraska still very much alive to the 37 Radisick over there again on that first down which gives him more options Turner Gill rolling out up the middle complete to Williams the tight end first down at the 40 Turner Gill hitting the tight end who has been quiet today hasn't had that opportunity very often first down short of the 40 yard line Turner Gill on first down wanting to throw. Crank, the other tight end. And he drags the tackler inside the 30. That's Harry Hamilton. And that'll be another first down, I believe. Here on CBS, we have the number one ranked team, Pittsburgh, on TV to start it. Now we have the second ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers with a third down and nine inside the 30-yard line, trailing 21 to 17. Turner Gill back over the middle, caught. Oh, what a hit at the 15-yard line put on Fryer. That was Robinson that hit Fryer, but that's another first down. I don't have... Turner Gill on the option. He pitches at the last moment to Rozier. Rozier inside the five. It's going to be first and goal, and what an athletic move that time by Turner Gill. It looked like he had no chance to get rid of the football. Nebraska trying to take the lead. 36 left in the game. Rozier, he's going to be short. It'll be second and goal there. Second and goal. Ricky Simmons put out. Give up the middle to Wilkening. He is just short. He is just short. It's third and goal. And there's the clock. Third and goal. Turner Gill sneaking. And no determination. Touchdown. and this crowd is stunned they have been stunned by one of the remarkable drives of this early season half yard to go all you need is just a little bit of a surge and Turner Gale got it watch his offensive line come off the ball led by Dave Remington he gets just a little bit of a surge. Turner Gill's up and over the top. The ball just has to break the plane of the goal line. Boy, a great camera angle, but you saw Remington. That was a big block. He hurt. Seibel kicking off. Bow is back deep along with Munford, and Bow is not going to bring it out. 
a touchback to the 20-yard line. Now, Blackledge has been able to strike, cover ground in a hurry. He's really got to do that now. Tom Osborne wants to know. It's going to be a personal foul against Nebraska. Boy, that makes a difference. 15 yards. Backs Warner not in there. Back to throw. Blackledge complete. Nichols 40, 45. First down to the midfield strike. Mike Knox made the stop a 15-yard pickup. And with a minute eight now left. Offense at one time, just moments ago, 911 yards of it. There's the time left. Second down, 10. Blackledge with protection. And cut. Coming up with a catch is Kenny Washington. Well, the crowd is quiet. Blackledge going for all of it. Harris is down there along with Garrity. They're out of the end zone. Harris, who intercepted earlier, defended well on that play. Out of the end zone. Good defense by number 11, Neil Harris. And so, Joe Paterno has third and 11. Two. Blackledge. Protection breaking down. He gets it off incomplete. That was Merrill who came through along with Toby Williams. Jeff Merrill put the pressure on Blackledge. It's fourth down, 11. Down. Okay, this may be the game right here. Blackledge, he's got the first down catch. Kenny Jackson. Jackson has it at the 22, and they're still alive. Now remember, they have one timeout left. Now they have to really be aware of getting this next play off. They have only one timeout left. First down. They put this in motion. Now they put the time in motion. You see it. Blackledge back. First down pass. Gonna run. He's gonna have to get out of bounds, and he does. He stops the clock with 13 seconds. Jackson Garrity split to the bottom of the screen. Williams, Nichols are running backs. Second down and five. McCloskey! McCloskey's got it at the two-yard line. First and goal at the two. Three backs in. Williams now jumps in. They pitched to Mumford on two previous plays. Let's see if they do this time. Nope, they're going to play action fake. Blackledge over the middle. Did he get it? Touchdown! Kurt Bowman! Touchdown catch of the day. The exact same play. Power backfield. A fake to Mumford. Bowman, number 80. You see, he's open earlier. The ball is thrown a little bit low. The former tackle goes down low to catch it. I tell you, that couldn't have been any closer. Look at Paterno. <laughs> Here's Manku, who did not have to kick another field goal. He has to be relieved. No, this one's no good. I don't believe it. He missed three field goals. Now he missed the point after. If it works, you go back to it. Again, you're going to see them trying to create some confusion. They fake the run. Blackledge has some nice protection. He drops back, throws the ball to Kirk Bowman, who had slipped behind the defenders for the touchdown. He just took that off the very top of the grass, didn't he? One more look. Again, you remember earlier, they've run this a number of times down by the goal line. A very, very nice catch. What I thought was interesting about that, Pat, is that previous plays, they'd always pitched to Mumford. They faked it that time, and that might have been the difference. Learning some valuable lessons in life, Gary, and, and they're being taught them very quickly on the field today. Manko missed the point after, kicks it down to Rogier. Rogier, last play of the game. He'd have to break it all the way in order to pull it out. He's trying his darndest to do it, but it won't happen. They're tearing the goalpost down. The NCAA on 
CBS. What football we've had this Saturday afternoon. Penn State 27-24. From Penn State, Todd Blackledge, 23 of 39 for 295 yards, three touchdowns and one interception. And for Nebraska, Turner Gill, 16 of 34, 239 yards. A check in the amount of $1,000 will be donated by Chevrolet to each school's general scholarship fund.